Okay, so we're going to talk about the digital cushion and how it works. The digital cushion is part of the foot. It is supposed to be supported by the frog that grows way up here between the bulbs. I'm going to take this off. See that? I'm going to take this off and show you. Okay, this is an anatomically correct foot. It is not supposed to be walking on the bulbs like that. And you see a lot of barefoot horses that have had the heels trimmed out and the horse is literally being forced to walk on his bulbs. This right here is called the frog stay. Now, sometimes when people look at this, they look at this here and they call it the central sulcus. Well, I beg to differ. Okay, the one thing I want you to realize is that you're dealing with two different objects here that are connected together. This grows off and is gone in a year. This is permanent. The digital cushion is part of the foot here. It's inside the foot and it has to have support from this frog here, right here. See, like that. That is the only way your horse's foot functions correctly. Now, when the horse is walking or running or putting weight, you see how soft this is and the cartilage is here? These cartilages push out that way. And then this fat is compressed in, pushing against each side here and pressing in this way up towards the navicular bone inside. See how that fat's getting loaded in there? Okay, now chickens are fighting. Okay. Okay, now what I want you to watch is how when the pastern comes down, I want you to watch the frog. Now, notice the frog is not touching the ground. Let me find something here. See, I can put that under there. I can feel the frog, but the frog is not touching the ground. Oops, see there? Not touching the ground. <coughs> that means the frog has room when this descends to do what it's supposed to do. See it? It goes down and it touches the ground and the whole time it's, it's being pushed down, it's pushing back up. It's pushing back up. When I push this down, it's pushing back up on my finger. So it's helping the whole mechanism and function of the foot and the leg to spring back up. And this is what gives your horse the spring in his step to all this stuff working together. See there? Okay, so that's the truth. Uh, not these feet you see. they got a 30 degree hairline down to here. There are people that would see this and say, oh my goodness, those heels are too long. Chop them off. Like that. What happens? If you chop them off like that, you're setting your horse back on his bulbs. Like so. And you're changing the whole weight-bearing equilibrium of the foot, foot and the capsule. I mean, look at here. See how this capsule perfectly fits this foot? And he's got... Uniform sole, thick sole around the whole thing, and they bear weight together. Perfect, imperfect alignment here. <clears throat> Let's look the other way. Let's look at the other side. Look at that. Imperfect alignment. See how that works? Okay, again, there's your foot, there's your capsule, in we go, out we go, in we go.
Here we go. There we go. Wow. Look at that frog. Absolutely fabulous. All right.